This project has actually been finished for a while now and it's been sat here waiting for me to film it. This is a 3D input control for CAD software. It's 3D printed. This one is powered by a Pi Pico and it's based on a fabulous design by Shinsako Hiura. The design is so clever. It's using three cheap two axis joysticks to capture six degrees of freedom. In fact, it's the simplicity and cleverness of the design that made me want to make one of these. So here are the three joysticks arranged at 120 degrees to each other and each joystick has a little sphere on the end. So these can go, each one can go left, right, up, down and also on this bottom one I also measure the click. I use that as an input as well but not for a direction control. And then this fits inside the knob where the knob has got these three holes that allow some sliding but then captures the rotation. The outputs from here is run inside this 3D printed enclosure that holds a Pico but also a multiplexer. So the Pico only has one ADC and it's reputedly not very good but it's sufficient for this purpose. Um, so I've got a multiplexer in there that allows me to take six different potentiometer readings and read them off a single pin on the Pico. I'm going to put the knob back on now so you can see it assembled. Okay, so here's the reverse view with that control knob reassembled. As you push down, all of the joysticks register a left-right movement, or if you pull up, they register the reverse. If you go left, this one slides, but the other two are moved apart. Same with up and down, and also the roll components. You can measure them all from the two axes of movement of each of the three things. So let's try this. I can, with quite a gentle touch, Pan. Put it back in the centre. I can roll on this axis. Roll it back. Put it back to the middle. Up a little bit. Okay. I can make it bigger and smaller. Zoom in and out. And then I've got a roll control as well. I need to roll around that axis, which is screen view based. Doesn't just work in our app, although not all the features are here. I've got pan, zoom, and two axes of rotate. In practice, I don't find it that easy to use. Um, it replicates functionality which is available, not as conveniently, but it is available with the mouse and the keyboard. And after more than a decade of conditioning, I just don't find I remember to use this, even though it's there. I just don't reach for it when I want to manipulate the view. There's certainly more I could do with this in software, but I didn't really build it to be a daily driver. I just love the design. Well, I hope you've enjoyed seeing that. Stay safe.